welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Clarissa. I'm from English Literature A 2019. And now I'm going to discuss about euthanasia. And I want to, to tell you guys what my opinion about euthanasia is. But before we're but before that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe my channel and you can share it to all your social media and now let's move on to the discussion we're gonna start from the definition euthanasia euthanasia also called mercy killing is a act or practice of painlessly putting that person suffer suffering from painful and incurable disease or incapacitating physical disorder or allowing them to die by withholding treatment or withdrawing artificial life support measures. And there are four types of euthanasia and the first is active euthanasia. And the second is passive euthanasia. And the third is indirect euthanasia. And the last is PCN assisted suicide. And I want to tell you a little explanation from the four main types of euthanasia. And the first is active euthanasia. Active euthanasia involves the direct administration of a little, little substance to the patient by another party with merciful intent. The second is passive euthanasia. It's with holding or withdrawing of life sustaining treatment either at the request of the patient or when prolonging life is considered futile. In direct euthanasia refers to the prescription of painkillers that may be fatal in and attempt to relieve suffering. Patient assisted suicide is refers to a medical professional aiding patient in terminating their life upon the patient's request. After I tell you the definitions of euthanasia and the four types of euthanasia, I want to tell you guys that I don't agree for those who are choosing or take decision to do euthanasia for someone's life because our lives is very precious and it's from God's that is why if we do that it means we will go against him and don't forget that our God is with us as always and guidance us and still give us life it means that he loves us and the lose faith to him until we recover I'm so grateful that in my country Indonesia has chosen the right decision to reject it for someone wants to choosing euthanasia to end their lives and providing and support them by the funds so that the poor can still be treated in the hospital 
until they are recovered. So guys, please don't choose euthanasia to end your life because our lives is very precious. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video will be beneficial to you. And don't forget to like, comment, and share to your social media. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.